Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 528 of Prog Review. And today, I'm still doing the nice. Oh, yes, it's their second album, Ars Longa and Vita Brevis, which is um, it's an old saying, <laughs> it's an old Greek aphorism, even from Hippocrates, you know, the guy that would give you the oath, the Hippocratic oath, you know, you know the old Hippocratic, no. Just, just me then. Uh, translated means art is long, life is short. I.e., art transcends life. That's pretty deep, isn't it? But that is the title of this album. And uh, yeah, the album. I'll start with the cover. I mean, look at that. That's their, that's their skeletons. See, in, in, you can see it's green. Underneath the skin, it's actually green. Isn't that clever? And um, I always think of um, Supergrass's album, you know, their album, self-titled album. When I think of this, uh, photographed by Jared, I uh, oh, get his name right, Jared Mankiewicz, very famous photographer, uh, did Hendrix and all that lot. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's that's a pretty far ahead album sleeve, isn't it, for the time? You know, actual X-ray images of the of the band. Well, I think it's clever. <laughs> I think it's good, you know. You, 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 when you look at it, you think, "Oh, it's actually, you know, maybe it's a, a, a picture, you know, like a drawing." But it isn't. It's actually real X-rays, real X-rays. And there's the back for you. There you go, of the band itself. Um, so yeah, it's very much follows a similar pattern to the first album. Um, you have a couple of short songs, and then the band go again classical again. Uh, your classical jazz, jazz classic art, oh, you know, fusion, <laughs> fusion. But they do like their, they do like their, um, they do like their classical. So it starts off with the track "Daddy, Where Did I Come From," um, which is, is funny. I like it. This, there's, there's a two versions of this. This is like there's this one, and then there's um, there's another version on the compilation, which is slightly different, like a slightly different mix. Uh, lyrics are different, uh, but we'll talk about that when I get to that as well. Um, so yeah, basically, it's basically yeah, it's about Daddy. Where did I come from? It's about the birds and the bees, and and it's a humorous look at how we don't really like to tell children where they, you know, <laughs> how they how they came about. It's it's that uh, the uncomfortable that that chat you know you sit down and have that that conversation it's that but put to music and it's funny there's there's lots of humor in it um not on this version but on the other version it says um the uh, uh was it if sex is a pain in the ass then you know you're doing it wrong uh, <laughs> that's from the other version not from this version two different versions see and then we have little arabella which again is is like, most like a, I guess it's psych, it's psych, uh, psychedelic, I guess. Um, about a girl who seems to have a mind of her own, very much for, a very forthright child, but it could be about a number of things. It could be about a number of different topics. You can interpret it as you are, as you will. But again, there's there's humour in there. It's funny, and so, the same goes with Happy Freud's, um, which kind of probably pokes a snook at, at the. At the psychiatry movement, you know, self-help, you know, the self-help book thing, you know, that there's a, there's, it really does have a go at them, you know, about knowing yourself and everything. So, yeah, so you've got three songs, um, vocal songs, where which are, I say, completely different, but there's a thread of humour running through through each of them. So that's that's interesting, and then. <laughs> And then we hit the classics. Uh, Intermezzo from the Karelia Suite. Uh, I think that's how it goes. Uh, <laughs> uh, from Sibelius himself. Uh, again, they just play it fairly straight. Um, it's like a fairly straight rock adaptation with Emerson on the old keys, on the old ivories, tinkering away. Uh, followed by Don Edito El Groover, um, which is a group composition, which is only 13 seconds long. So make of that what you will. 
it was one of it's one of those it's one of those tracks uh when you turn over the side you have the you have the the, the title track Ars Longa Vita Brevis which is 19 minutes 20 seconds long and it's built up into different movements preludes and codas and you know it's it's one of the first long pieces that you see um it, again, but not one of the first. I mean, they they did it with. Um, no, this is. I'll get it right in a minute. <laughs> edit that out, Darren. Edit that out. Then it makes it look like you actually know what you're talking about instead of having a brain fart. You know. <laughs> uh, brain fart. Yeah. So it's, it's it's a long form piece, and it's the first time they they attempt to do that, and. It's classic, classic based, I guess, because you do get uh, the Brandenburger uh, theme to the Antiques Roadshow back in the day. That's in, that's like in the third movement, um, which is nice. But yeah, so it's um, yeah, it's quite a big thing for a band to lay down nearly twenty minutes of song all glued together. Uh, but the nice did it, and I think again acts as an inspiration for many of their peers to. You know, forego short form songs and take on this extended f format. So, again, this get, that this kind of reiterates what I was saying about them being the the granddaddies of of the progressive movement. And again, this is why you need to check them out. Um, whereas, again, the thing with the nice is they go probably go too far, too far to to to, to the classic side of things. You know. Does that make sense? Pretty, pretty good. They don't put enough enough rock or enough jazz into it to make it um, prog prog. So it's kind of it, it, they they do play this classical stuff fairly straight, um, but with like I say with a rock band um, format, you know, keys, bass, drums, um, but there are strings and stuff. Um, you know, orchestra, orchestral additions. My vocabulary is uh, is suffering today. You know what I mean. There's strings and things on on that. Um, so yeah, you can see how they they built on the first album. Kind of moved away from the psychedelia and you know just kind of carried on, but refined what they did. It's not as rough and ready. Though I think, I think some of the ch the choices of the edits, um, especially on the like the first three songs, um, they are a bit rough and ready. But the actual um, classical, like the intermezzo from Carilia Suite and Ars Longa Vita Brevis, they're pretty good, um, pretty well well recorded, well produced. Whereas you know, the first three songs are a little bit, a little bit rough around the edges. It's quite funny. I, I, that's what shocked me is the the quality of the of the of the recording, because um, it goes from sounding really good to sounding really iffy in places. Um, you know, I guess that's just the way things were done back in the day. Um, so yeah, it's. Um, It's an interesting record. Also, you know, Keith Emerson sings on some of the songs as well. So that's interesting. He shares vocal duties with with Lee Jackson. So uh yeah, Emerson the vocalist. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, it's a it's a it's a real forward looking album, you know, for the time. Again, nineteen sixty eight, November nineteen sixty eight this was out. So it's nearly a year since their their first album. They just built on the on the foundation and ran and ran with the idea of what they was doing, uh, you know, doing their their take on 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 the classics. Um, yeah, I mean it's a strong record. It is it is really. I mean I like the don't get me wrong. I like the first album, but I think this one's just got a slight edge to it. You know, it's just slightly better. Again, I think it's because I've had more time. You know. 
you know, they're improving. They're improving with age. Again, there is a there is a progression um, going on here. Um, so in terms of a rating, I think I'm going to give this. Um, I'm going to give this three and a half. Happy Freud's out of five. Three and a half. Happy Freud's. Possibly could probably touch a four if I was feeling generous. But I do think some of the um, some of the production leads a little bit to be desired in places. You know, so, you know, because I've heard the, the 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 two versions of Daddy Where I Come From, the better versions on the on the compilation album. So they used, I think they were used the wrong edit. Um, but again, that's just me. That's me being fussy. But I I implore you to check this record out. I think you will be pleasantly impressed. Uh, but those of you who don't like classical music, you may be put off by it. But that's not the point. The point is you're meant to listen to it and go, ah, I can see where yes we're going, or yeah, I can see how, you know, so and so we're using um, other musical forms in in their music. You know, they took the lead from the nice. That's the whole point of this. That's the whole point. So. You know, and also I think it'll help you reevaluate what ELP did as well. Because you think ELP were were the cutting edge? No, it was it's, it's the nice. Anyway, I've witted on enough. My name's Darren. I've been talking about Ars Longer, Vita Brevis, the second album by the Nice, and we'll do their third album next. I hope you're enjoying this. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on the social media. Uh, and um, and yeah, there's only one more thing to say, and that is. Prog on.